look at him. Isn't he something? You know, I was supposed to look like that, but something went wrong on the assembly line. <laughs> Tom, I want to thank you very much for coming in from Hawaii just to do the show, you know? Thanks, Bob. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, tell me, this is your first comedy show, isn't it? Well, that remains to be seen. <laughs> How'd you like to take the five o'clock shark back to the islands? <laughs> no, I saw a poll the other day that named you the handsomest man in the world. Yeah. I... Well, you know, I, I saw that, Bob, and it's, it's so silly. I mean, as if looks are important. Are my eyelashes too dark? <laughs> no, they're fine. I couldn't agree with you more. People make such a big deal about looks. I don't have too much rouge on, do I? Well, maybe just a tad. I mean, Bob, what's the difference who's better looking as long as we are what we are? Yeah. My mustache isn't too bushy, is it? <laughs> no, every follicle's in place. How's my hair? I gave it a beer shampoo yesterday. Oh, it's beautiful. Your head's got a head on it. Well... <laughs> you know, Bob, frankly, I am getting just a little tired of all this sex symbol hype. I mean, I'm just an ordinary guy. I put my pants on one leg at a time, like everybody else. Yeah, but you get to do it a lot more than the rest of us. You know? <laughs> See? you see bob that's exactly <laughs> what i mean everyone thinks i have scads of gorgeous women just groveling at my feet i mean that's pure fantasy well uh, the next time you run... <laughs> the next time you run into one of those fantasies will you see if she has a sister huh <laughs> tom i know you got them hooked over here but how are the hawaiian girls treating you well Every time I get off the plane, I'm greeted by a bevy of hula dancers who shower me with flowers and kisses. But you know how that is, Bob. <laughs> no, I don't. No. Last time I got off the plane in the Honolulu, only Don Ho was there and he threw pineapples at me. <laughs> well, life there flows gently and pleasantly. You'd really like it, Bob. Yeah. You ever tried surfing? <laughs> You're kidding. I use training wheels in the shower. <laughs> but I love the way you got into this business. You started out by doing commercials, didn't you? You know, Bob, I have found that the trick to being noticed in a commercial is, is you got to put a twist to it, you know, your own stamp. Yeah, like what? Like how? How do you mean? Well, for instance, when I did the Chaz Man, yeah. the Chaz commercial, I used to ride my horse side saddle. I never noticed that. Did that help you get a part in a Western? No, but I got a lot of fan mail written on pink stationery. <laughs> And, Tom, you just played your first starring role in a feature film, right? That's right, Bob. High Road to China. Really? Well, how'd you like it over there? Well, we shot it in Yugoslavia. We couldn't get into China. Well, how come? I was there three years ago. You just answered your own question. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where'd you actually shoot your picture? Uh, a little town called Opatia. It's the only place I know of where the main street has goat crossings. <laughs> Must have been a lot of laughs. Huh? Oh, yeah. On Saturday night, we used to sit around and watch the yogurt harden. <laughs> I guess nobody knew you there, huh? <laughs> nobody. In fact, it's funny. The day I got there, somebody asked who Tom Selleck was. It was embarrassing. <laughs> it was the director. <laughs> Well, what's High Road to China about, Tom? It's about a down-and-out World War I pilot who takes to drink. That's too bad. Today, if you're not in outer space, forget it. <laughs> Tom, did those Yugoslav girls make a big fuss over you? No, they didn't know who I was. They completely ignored me. But I will say that a couple of goats winked at me. <laughs> well, you should have followed through. I hear Yugoslav goats are great dancers. <laughs> uh, they, they don't get your TV show over there, huh? No, no. When I mentioned Magnum P.I., they thought it was a little town in the Philippine Islands. Tom, I'd like uh, to hear a little more about High Road to China. Oh, bless you. Well, <laughs> I play this airplane pilot in World War I who's stuck in Europe. Uh -huh. Oh, by the way, did you entertain troops in World War I? In 1918? Are you kidding? <laughs> I got big laughs. My diapers kept falling down. <laughs> And then I always got a big applause because I had the Kaiser's picture painted on my little bottom. <laughs> well, 
Well, it was a little then. <laughs> I wish you a lot of success with your picture. And also, congratulations on your nomination for an Emmy Award. Magnum P.I. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Tom. <laughs>